world is alive with energy that connects us all. This is Sky, an expansive realm of possibility. Skyweaver is a worldwide competitive trading card game. Build your deck from a unique combination of prisms, each with their own specialties. Earn rare cards and gain the allegiance of ethereal creatures. And compete with others, ascend the ranks, and become legendary. Skyweaver offers the new paradigm of player ownership. A blockchain platform means your cards are entirely yours to earn and trade with others. A new dimension awaits to build and explore together. Welcome to Skyweaver. Sign up for beta at skyweaver.net for exclusive access and join our Discord. All right. Here we go then. Our first live streaming. I think everything's working fine. Let me see if I can check the chat here. Cool. How's the sound? Everything's fine. I couldn't organize my main microphone, so bear with me here. I think it's it's good enough gain as it is. Nice, awesome. So I'm Marcelo, your friendly community manager for Skyweaver, and we're having today our first community stream. John will be streaming uh, in the mornings in the West Coast, so a bit earlier. I'm located in sunny Spain, so I'll be streaming a bit later, and also for our European friends. So that's it. The focus today will be just playing some random matches, and uh, yeah, my 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 microphone is not the ideal one here. Uh, I'll fix this one out. It's also 33 degrees. It's super hot, so um, I have all the windows closed. I feel like I'm gonna faint halfway through this, but we'll we'll, we'll make it. All right, so let's see if we can find somebody to play with randomly. I'm just going to select a few of our combinations here and let's see what's happening. I'll play with my favorite one first, which is Heart and Agility. Let's see if we find somebody in the queue. Hope it's not John with his amazing luck. Uh, Nice, it's Julio. Let me just lower the amount here a bit. Uh, 30% should be enough. There we go. <laughs> no, you, you can stream snipe me, no problem. So, if you have never seen a game of Heart uh, of um, Skyweaver here, we have our Heart and, and uh, Agility, our prisms. We have to pick four. It's okay-ish. Relatively expensive cards, lots of fours. I'm gonna pick units. I like to pick units. And one remove so I can send a pesky enemy towards their deck again. Everybody's afraid of John, and rightfully so. John made everything, so hey, <laughs> it would be fool foolish not to be afraid of him. All right, so I'm starting first. I have the big mana vial, grants me two extra mana. I have one, if I play that, I'll have three, and then I can play this guy here, which is a good idea because it has also has life steal. So let's see what happens. Bam! Minus three for for Julio, plus three for myself. I'll check with my my hero. Nothing else to do. It's not OP. It's it's good. 
In the beginning, I think that the player won. Oh no, there we go. Whisked away. Well, it made it its mark already. We could do the same here, but it would be a waste of a good card. And he has a little Elderwood, which will grant him another unit when I kill it. So, there we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save my cards for mid-game here. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, Julio has played quite a bit lately. He was way up ahead and then... But the, the meta changes from moment to moment. So now he's down a bit. I was, I don't know, rank 50 some days ago. Now I'm 8, I think. So it's very volatile. And it's beta, right? So people will be going up and down all the time. As we test stuff, we break things, we fix things. I'm 7th. Great. Awesome. Oh. Looks like Julius is also playing a heart. And agility has, has lots of the same cards as I did. Uh, yeah, let's see. Hmm. I have a dilemma here. If this guy keeps hitting me, he will be bringing back units. You know, he just has one unit, so it's not a terrible thing. Uh, maybe I can't play any other units now. That's quite problematic. Hmm. So I think I'll just attack him. But then I'll have to bite the bullet. Nothing great I can do here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Being the first in anything is great. <laughs> and come on, right? Everybody's here helping the game testing it out, finding bugs and etc. We, we found so many bugs since like three days ago because of your help, so we'll be able to fix everything much faster like that. Okay, so back his Elderwood that he rescued back from his discard pile. That's not good for me. And he now places a scene stone, so when I kill this guy, you get a free zomboid in his place. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, the Angelo is immune to my whisk away because he costs four. Uh -huh, the scene stone. Well, I think maybe Tet is a good idea because. It has different presence on the plane board. Let's see what happens. Another free unit for him, which is crappy. That's a nice combo, right? So you bring this guy back, attacking me, then more one cost units. <laughs> it's a nice card generator, and generating cards is super important uh, in Skyweaver because it's a very fast-paced game, so when we start leaving early game, going to the mid-game, if you don't have cards and your opponent has them, you're in trouble. So let's see here, let's see what he does. Yep, as expected. There's the Sin Stone, he will probably attack me, I would, to get it back, right? to top that unit. No, he decided to trade. That's good news for me. Because now I can arrow strike him. Because it's not a stealthy card. He played Spite and Malice, which brings two units, one with guard and one with stealth. So far Great board presence for him, and I'm just trying to catch up. Yeah, Skitter is a nice unit, but I'm really afraid of this Angelo here. So let's 
Bohemian later and let's blink our zombie so I can deal with it later. Hmm. Four mana. I have enough damage now. Two expendable units for four damage. If I play this one, he'll probably be able to, to kill it before I do anything interesting. Um, yeah, I think Elder Woods and Roots is the best play now. Good. It'll make it very expensive for him to attack me now. Sorry, Julio. You were banging me. I can't, can't do anything, man. So let's see. Now, if he wants to attack with those units, he has to pay three mana each, and this condition stays until the unit dies or is dispelled. So it's a nice. A nice counter to his tempo now. Yeah, he's he beat the bullet. He wants to kill my my guys here, and he will be able to smack me. Mm -hmm. Decent play. Good stuff. Hmm. Now I could give all my hand minus one cost and mulligan my hand. So. It would bring those two units to zero. It's basically free, but they would be returned to my deck. Hmm. That's, uh, that's an interesting choice here. <laughs> yeah, send them my way and I'll, I'll be glad to provide for new beta testers. I think I'm gonna do this now. I'll deal Faustanch with the one damage for those guys here. Mm -hmm. My guy is a little stronger. I got a nice Wither card. Very nice. And I can finish off this Zomboid. I could have killed the guard, but I don't want the Zomboid laying around over there. I think that's enough. Let's put a guard here. The Frog. Julio loves the frog, I'm sure. This guy is just a protector. He will return to my hand at the start of the next turn. So he's just here to absorb some damage. <laughs> Those are the dangers of stream sniping, Julio. Your guys are probably conspiring against me on Discord. I don't need that. You should conspire against John, not me. Nice catch. So, nice damage to myself and to my Swamp Walker. Bye bye. Oh, has a frog of his own. Interesting. Mm hmm. There it goes. Right, I have some interesting cards here. I think I'm gonna whisk away this frog before it bothers me too much. And then I'll have five mana. I need seven for my Angelo clapback combo. Hmm. I think it might be worth it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's play our own guy. Let's play Skitter and let's kill the guard. Mm -hmm. That's good. And the Kitten. Let's wait. We don't want to push all my units into the playing field now. Yeah, front party. I love the frog when it's on my side, not so much when it's on the enemy side. So we'll be streaming for like one hour, one hour and a half, one hour and a half, two hours. So a nice group of games here. Mm. 
some water so I don't faint. Okay, interesting. He capsized his unit, sent it back to his deck, and now he gets a nice hit touch, which means he'll be able to kill it now. Good play. Can't leave a skitter in the in the playing field because he will be plinking everybody that's summoned with wither, which is not good news. Okay, so now it's a great turn to play my Angelo and my Clapback because I'll be able to kill both enemies. I'll be able to smack him, but before I smack him, let's banner up. Hey Catnip Nap, welcome. Yep. I saw the, 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 the tweet. Awesome, thanks for joining. That's it. No, no conceding. Come on, you have 25 life points. You're ahead of me. If you if anybody has questions, I'm checking the, the, the chat here. If I know how to answer, I'll answer. And if I don't, I'll look for answers later. So join the Discord and join the fun. Well, let's see what he does. Ooh, Ifrit. Ifrit with Wayne Blade. Nice. That's a chunky creature. Mm -hmm, I have some options now. to sacrifice one of my creatures but then I wouldn't have mana should put my hop back mm-hmm interesting I think it's the time for the sky phoenix then it's a nice guard unit that will keep me safe at least for one turn unless he does something evil Yeah, Withering Wayne Blade was evil. It's good as it is. 3 1 is a nice boost for a low cost. So if I kill his Ifrit, he will lose all the cards in his hand and he will draw 4 fire cards. So that's. it can be good or bad. In a random match it's usually a bad idea right because it, you didn't have enough you didn't have any choice about the cards that you have in your hand so you might have only crappy fire cards however in a, in a constructed deck ifrit can be very powerful because it can accelerate some nasty combos let's see yeah some smart smart choice he wasted his attack on my on my angelo to bring it down because we don't want it he doesn't want his my Angelo bringing units back from the dead, which is a smart idea. Okay, mm, Geode. Okay, that's bad news for me. Okay, so Allied Elements. Should I trade? I think it's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'll trade. So he lost all his cards and he got three fire cards. Let's see if they're good or not. Uh huh. I can now play my boat again to bring me some life back because of his life steal. Uh huh. I can play my. Orchid, which will reduce all the costs and give my units a little boost. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any guards, so I'll play my Hoplite and I'll 
blink him good. Nice. So let's see what Julia's gonna do. A very, very even match so far. Let's see what kind of fire cards we got. Hopefully not a fireball or extinction event. Let's see. Love the artwork of the Cloud Kitten. Yeah, we have artists from all over the world producing these amazing artworks. Very different styles, but I think they coalesce quite well into the game here. Love the look of the Mantis. Very nasty indeed. Oh, interesting. He decided to go for the full clear. Can't say it's a terrible, terrible idea. All right. Uh -huh. So no reason for not playing my scythe mantis now. Give it a little boost. And let's play Psyche. And I don't want to give him a spell now. I have the advantage. Let's wait. I don't need a, another guard now. Yeah, it was a, it was a good play actually. Um, you, you cleared everybody. It was, it was not bad. He blown away my 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 mantis. Nasty, nasty play. So I basically lost my my Wayne blade. Not lost, right? But yeah. And Spider Malice back back in the game. Okay. This is not a great hand, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my fan of knives, I'm gonna deal one damage to everybody. A nice little blink. And I'm gonna brainstorm my hand. I'm gonna deal one damage and redraw. Hmm. Interesting. That can be good. Let's see. We are almost at the end of our decks. Julio has 8 more cards, I have 12. He has less cards because of the Ifrit that dusted his hand and he picked up 4 extra cards from his deck. So very, very even so far. So what elements am I missing here? To bring back my my phoenix, I'm missing. I was missing fire, I think. Yeah. Beloved, so extra health points to his spite. Dirge. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yep, so here I am again. And you can play this game, Julio. Nice. So I basically neutered his Spider Malice for now. That's good. And if he can't remove my Scythe Mantis, he will have problems next turn. So let's see what's gonna happen. Hey, Onestos. Yeah, anybody that 
want an access code, please join our our Discord. Go to skyweaver.net. There's a Discord button there. And send me a message. I'm Marcelo. Then I'll help you out. Interesting. So he played his Dungeon Master. He's a strong card and he played it the way it die. Yeah, he realized that. Yeah, there's nothing much he can do right now. GG. It was close. I, I was lucky to redraw the Mantis so quickly. So that was good. So I've got two new cards. Hmm. One agility, one heart. Nice. Whenever you play random or constructed, when you win, when you have a level up, you will receive two cards from the prisms that you are using in that match, in that level. So there you go. Two more cards to our hand. GG, it was a nice, ni nice match. Very even, up to the end. So now, let's see. We played Heart and Agility, what else? Anybody wants to see any other combination? Let me know here in the chat, and I'll pick it up. Let's see what you have to say. Strength and Agility is brutally strong. A gene wisdom. Mm. It's a nice combination also. That was my, my my first favorite combination. It's 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 a strong, strong combination now, but I think that wisdom didn't scale well with the last few patches, unfortunately. Okay, so let's find an opponent. Anybody wants to play with me and already is in the game, join random now and let's play. Alright, as you do again. Rematch time. Nice, see this is a much better mulligan. I've got a good mix of cheap cards and more expensive effects. Alright, so I'm gonna I usually pick three units and one spell. However, I'm gonna do. Oh, there's an interesting combo here. Oh. Let's see if it works. I would usually pick this one, but let's see. There's a nice combo here. Let's let, let me see if I can do it. So now Julius starts, so he has the big mana vial, he'll get your mana when he uses it. And I have this in the regular mana vial. So let's see if Julius will have his revenge. Okay, three mana, rodent problem. Really strong card to play in the first turn. Alright, so now he has a 4-3 Stealth Wither unit, with a nice spell to boot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I can maybe draw a unit that can kill this baby here instantly. So. Let's hope he doesn't get a guard unit. Let's see what happens. Oh man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was probably the worst creature that I could <laughs> receive in the beginning of the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm in deep trouble now. Alright, this is an excellent creature to get by the end of the game, but... In the beginning, I don't have anything in my dead pile, so he, there's no buff. Yep, I screwed myself up royally. Looks like you have your rematch, Julia. <laughs> Let's see. A 
Yep, it's not looking good for me. <laughs> well, let's play Ricky then, because I know I'll be able to kill this guy and absorb at least one of his attacks with Ricky. So, to buy me some time. Hey, it's RN Jesus, right? It's random is a fickle mistress. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So no worries. Let's see. Crush. So he'll be able to smack me for seven, eight points straight away. Yeah. Seven because he wanted to take down my songbird, which is understandable. Yeah, but that's not the plan that I was hoping for here. I'm gonna let's see four. Yeah, there's not much I can do now. Let's do this, and there we go. I should have attacked first. Yeah, unless something dramatic happens, it's gonna be very difficult to reverse the tempo here in this match. Interesting. So in the last patch, we have a famous card from our alpha back into play, Mother Ethereum. So she keeps generating other woods every turn if you leave her alone, and she has a great spell in nature's grasp. Hey Alex, welcome to Sky River. Nice. We would love to have your feedback, man. Just go to skyweaver.net, enter our Discord, look for Marcelo. I'm the community manager. Send me a message, and I'll hook you up. And Togen, if you go to skyweaver.net, uh, we have uh, an FAQ, and if you click on blog, we have a game guide. There you'll be able to see um, a brief newbie explanation of what to do. Check it out, please. That's no excuse, Julio. Okay, now I have six mana. And some tough choices here. I'll kill this guy because I won't be able to kill the other one with two damage. I drew a nice unit, but it won't save me now. So let's put some muscle on the board. I couldn't remove the roots this round, but at least I... I'm not in a terrible situation now. Nice token. And if anybody has questions about the game, what am I doing, what's happening here, the interface, anything, let me know, I'll try to help. I love the night and day cycle here, so we're about 1 p.m. now, high noon. Soon it's gonna be dusk, then night. Let's see if I can last until night here in this match. <laughs> Not very hopeful. That was a, probably the worst <laughs> clash <laughs> that I've ever had. <laughs> it's unbelievably bad. Okay. Uh, Agility has lots of random cards. Oh, good card. So he killed my Carbonite with Hunter's Shot, smacked me a little more. Hmm. Well, at least now I have some breathing room here. Attacking won't me do me any good now, so removing this root is a low priority. Let's play Mother. And let's play Starfield. 
So, Mother Ethira generated a nice Elderwood for me. At least it's some protection against one of the two attacks, probably his. And uh, when it dies, it draws me a one cost unit. So, there are a ton of interesting uh, units that cost one mana, but they have great attached spells. Like this, right? This is the great differential that we have here in Skyweaver the attached spells. So, we don't have just the cards in your hand, right? You have also. Uh, spells within units, you can pay their cost, so this brings another layer to the game. And uh, most cards have great attached spells. Ooh, I was lucky. His rapid strike didn't kill anybody. Good, both of my units are alive. Hey Kuma Kuma, welcome! Yes, I will stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at this time, right? John will, will be streaming in the morning, he lives in the west coast, so he will try to start streaming at around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But yeah, we'll try to stream a lot and soon we will have our community streaming. Very, very soon. So... Let's see here. I think I'm gonna call two more Elderwoods. Then I'm gonna play Anointing Flames to give me a permanent banner effect. Then I'm gonna remove these flames so I don't take any any damage because I'm not able to hold on any damage now. So I'm gonna attack here. Ooh, Harvest, amazing spell. Let's see if I can keep this guy alive to next turn. Okay. So now I have a nice buffer of, of trees before my face, which is good. I don't have a lot of hit points, right? So I'm in a very precarious position here. And he dive bombed my mother Ethereum. Yeah, that's it. it's I, I I can't contest this play. Mother Ethereum is a high priority target always. I may have killed the cat because of the harvest, right? If I can play that I'll get a double my hit points, so hey. He still has 4 mana, let's see what he can do with those. And he has a lot of cards, right? He has 7 cards in his hand. So he's got choices here. Good, 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 good. That was a good, good play by, by Julio. So he whisked away my, my star field, back to my deck, so he lost the spell. And uh, I have a completely new random hand here. Nice. But I still have my two trees ahead of me. And I have some interesting units. I have my beloved Scythe Mantis back into the game. And I can do something nasty now with this guy. I'm gonna summon him. I'm gonna give Wayne Blade to my tree, and I'm gonna kill this dude. It's a good trade for me. Oh, wicked card that I got here. Things are looking up. Let's see if I can get some mana back. I've been streaming for, I think, half an hour, Alex. Ah, yeah, my camera. Mm. Let me see here. It's a poor placement for my camera. Give 
give me a moment, I'll be able to fix this later here. Sorry about that. I'll check just a, in a moment, Alex, don't worry. Uh, let me just finish this match and I'll check if I have gotten your message. Okay, he's filled his side with a nice few cards here. So, Psych Mantis gets this Inspire Dark. So whenever I cast a Dark Effect spell or unit, I do one Wither damage to everybody. Those guys here are safe because they have armor. But I can blink this one down here just by ca casting my Coughing Moth. And there's no reason why I wouldn't want to do that. Okay. So I can play some another... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play this guy here, so now I deal 3 damage, but I have a lifesteal, which is good. So I'm gonna kill, he's a spite, I'll get 3 cards, now I can attack his hero, lifesteal will give me some life points back. And I can... Ah, damn, I didn't see the timer. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I would probably have smacked him in the face, but hey, it's fine. for now. Good. Good place. Okay, now I could basically wipe the board here. Do I want to do that? Do I want to lose 3 mana? Not so sure. place my firemander here a guard unit another banner unit mm -hmm. I have six mana so I could whisk away this guy here I think right oh no it's four cost so I can't Anyways, so I'm gonna get a free zomboid here and a nice smack in the head. Mm, I'm gonna save this for a rainier day. Let's see. Yeah, we have here on top of our our timer, right? It's not super visible right now. Um, you really have to get used to it. So this is very much a temporary solution to the to the timer problem. We need to make it a bit more more visible. So he played his rocket and he received a free and ready unit here because of it. Dealt 5 crush to my whiskers. Poor cat. He's, he made good use of his rocket because whenever you have a rocket on board, units that are summoned receive an extra attack point. So now the Zomboid is a decent unit, right? Choo Choo is a respectable unit. But he doesn't have any, any guards. So that might be a problem. Really? We're in Sao Paulo. What happened? 
Are you Brazilian? Or for work or for pleasure? Oh, nice spell for me. I see the sad part is if I had attacked him with the mantis, I would have lethal now. Oh yeah, Ubatuba. Amazing, amazing beaches on Ubatuba. It's a very beautiful coastal coastal line in, in Sao Paulo. Awesome man. Glad you had the opportunity to to know it. Yeah, I think I have lethal. I'm I'm, I'm checking here now. I'm doing some math. One, two, four, seven. So I can do this. I can do this. This. And this. And I will kill my units here to give him two damage with the seal of doom. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> that was <a> amazingly close. <laughs> wow, Julio, that was a that was an intense match. <laughs> I I thought you had me after that that clash, man. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was super super crappy. Thank you. Yeah, that was a nice match. Definitely, I've got I've gotten a wisdom and an agility card here. Great cards, actually. <laughs> Best worst clash ever, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, see, this kind of stuff that makes Skyweaver so interesting. You can you can turn the tide if you play smartly and if you don't lose your turns, like somebody. <laughs> I let's see. Right, when you start playing, you only have access to the strength prism. So let's play a random match. Pure strength, no hybrid. Let's see who I can play with. And uh, that's that's the, the newbie experience, right? Coming into the game, you don't know much about the game and you can only play with strength. Every five levels that you get, you unlock another prism and then you're able to start mixing and matching. Uh, in the beginning, I really recommend everybody just playing random matches until we get to know the cards and etc. Some of the effects are a bit sometimes complicated, right? The spells, we don't have all the animations in place already um, yet. So what happens is sometimes you play the spell, a lot of things happen, but you, you can't see the effects. You can only feel the effects in the board. That can be a little, a little confusing for, for a newbie, right? And... Uh, but keep on playing, read the cards carefully, read the player guide, read the FAQ and you'll be able to just start playing very competitively. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the intro package because strength is a prism like any other, right? It's, it's the first one that you unlock, but it's amazingly powerful, right? Strength has a lot of strong cards, strong units, has a lot of armor effects, armor is a really really strong effect you basically ignore the first point of damage of any uh, any source nice spark a level 20 I think spark joined yesterday cool thing so let's see he's playing with a hybrid I can see by the size of his pile okay see like you have Tyrantus which is an amazingly strong card you can Really, really kill the match if the, the person can't deal, can't respond quickly. So let's see. Gus, Coat Killer is a good one. Polar Bear is a nice card and has Seek, which is an amazing ability. For the last one, do I get a remove? Or do I get a Zomboid? Should put some pressure later on earlier. Okay, let's let's play a, a classic rush style strength match. Let's see what happens. Cool. So let's see. I have two mana now, possibly three. 
can play three units right now. Do I want to do that? I want to hold on to this cold killer because of his units, his, his ability of cold snapping all units in the board. It's a valuable, valuable ability. So I'm gonna play Gus and I'm gonna play my Zomboid. I'll keep the mana vial for next turn. If nothing crazy happens, I'm gonna spend this mana vial and I'm gonna cast Head in the Clouds. I will get a lot of benefit from that. I will get two cards, a unit and a spell, both from air. And uh, I have this air card here, which will cost me one less mana. Yeah, Zomboids are amazing. Zero cost. Ooh, nice. I was lucky, because when he summons the Yellowjack, the Yellowjack attacks randomly. So he could have killed my Gus. But Lady Luck chose Zomboid, which is a good trait. For me, at least. Okay, so no creatures over there. That gives me confidence to spend my mana vial and cast Head in the Clouds. So two units, reduce it cost. See, it had a three cost, now it costs two. Good stuff. And I can play the smack. Yeah, and we have a, an amazing community right now. People have been playing with us since December when we opened our alpha to external people. Uh, we have people that have played 400 matches already and uh, super friendly. They will help everybody get on board, learn the game. Uh, everybody in the company is also super accessible. We have our devs talking about technology, people who are very curious about crypto and blockchain, so can ask your questions in our Discord, and I'm here to help you guys with the gameplay, anything that you need. Okay, I have a Brawl, which is a strong unit, 5-5, five, five, very cheap. I don't like Zephyr, because whenever he casts a metal card, he gets Zep. Zep's bad news. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cast Cold Killer, I'm gonna give all units Frostbite, I'm gonna smack the Zapper here, because I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. Okay, I was checking here if I would do the trade wins, I would have to discard my oldest card. It's always oldest on the left side, newest on the right side. So I would discard my oldest, I would discard the polar bear. I don't want to do that. Um, if Because it's a unit, I would draw three spells. I'm okay right now, I don't need to do that. How many people are in the beta? Good question. We have invited about 500 people. Um, of course, the amount of people playing the game is, is smaller. The bait is quite small so far. We are ramping up slowly and surely. Um, you can see we have like six, 700 people already in our Discord, uh, but only a fraction of those have beta access. That will change very soon. Yeah, I, I, I need to... I have this grouping here of my my camera on, right on top of my mana, sorry. I, I would need to, to do that off stream because it's I have a very particular setup of sources here on OBS. For next stream I will... I will fix that, don't worry. Okay. Let's see now. can't cut, cast this. 2 plus 7, I need 9 mana, so I'll have to wait a bit. I still can't cast Seek. So I think I'm gonna cast this guy here. Because he has a stealthed unit, it's gonna become a guard unit. Plus 1, plus 1. 
It's a very good deterrent. And uh, I can kill this guy. It's a good trade. And when he die, Oh, I should have killed this one first. That was dumb. Okay. So let's see. But you can see, right? It's, it's the most basic setup that you can have. Mono strength. And it's holding its own against a nice combination of agility and wisdom. So it's it's competitive. And there's the, that there's another advantage also because I have a mono deck. I have I start with 20 cards. A hybrid deck starts with 30. So I draw less cards, true, but at the same time, if you make a constructed deck, it's very, very focused. So you can really pump out those combos and stuff like that so that's very there's the potential there to make some sick sick combinations here right nice so he had a good answer to my to my attack so far I really don't wanna let him keep this leaf ranger for a lot of time because life steal and whenever he attacks me he gets an extra mana that round so that's not good for me mm. so no units with armor i think i'm gonna cast the polar bear and seek good now i have two very heavy hitters here the strongest actually in the strength deck I was lucky uh -huh. in the other hand I don't have a lot of board presence which is not good yeah that's in game that's our original soundtrack made by Russ same composer that created uh, the soundtracks for Fable he created this amazing amazing track for us yeah it's, it's an amazing track I've been listening it for five months and I'm still not sick of it so that should be a good indication of what I think about it <laughs> nice He's got his Ghost Duster. Oh, and bees. Oh no, bees are bad news. Yeah, it's relaxing. So it doesn't put a lot of pressure on you, which is good. Hmm. Let's see what I can do. I need to do something fast here to stop this tide of good cards on his side. <sighs> Should I mulligan my hand? Actually, that's not a bad idea. I only have uh, eight cards in my deck. I might have, might get some cheaper cards here. Might be a good idea. Let's see. I might get a, a remove. Yes. And I got it. So now I can deal 4 damage to anybody. I can kill this guy here, which I think it's a good idea. Or I can do this. It's gonna die anyway, so let's whack this guy. And let's cast Faust Edge. That will wipe. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was a good decision for sure. Nice. Hey Toggen. Like I said, join our Discord and send me a message. I'm Marcelo, the community manager. Just give me a shout out on the general channel and I'll hook you up with a bait invite. If you're here, if you're watching our streams, you deserve to 
get on board it fast. He has another bee. Let's see if he casts the other. Oh, good. Good stuff. So, this the Banshee will kill my Brawl because she will deal one damage to everybody. This guy will survive. Yeah, Neftos, for sure. I will check it out. Before turning off the streaming, I will look at my Discord and I will hook up everybody. Don't worry. Hmm. So I guess it's time to do the hurricane, right? Uh -huh, I have one mana, can't cast anything now, two mana, nothing, so let's just smack, smack, good. This unit has fulfilled its purpose, that was casting Hurricane, so good stuff. And I'm getting closer and closer to putting my Tyrantus on the board. Yeah, that's a good point. I think that if you make like a, a mono deck that's super tight, it, it is a very clear advantage. Um, at the same time, no single prism has everything, right? So you won't have all strong cards, strong spells, strong removals, strong card generation, and etc. So mixing it up, if, if you don't kill the other enemy quick, then probably you lose against a hybrid deck. Especially if it's a control deck with a lot of removals and etc. that can really survive the early game. Right, 9 mana, so I can basically cast, cast almost everything. So, Plane Ranger will deal 2 damage whenever I cast a spell, so... I don't like him. Mm -hmm. This guy is 4 costs, 3 cost. That's no good. So I'm gonna put Khan here. It's a big pressure on him now. Because Khan, if he survives the next turn, he will chain all the enemy units. And chains removes stealth, lifesteal, guard all the keywords which is a good thing so let's see what happens if he can't remove come quickly it's gonna it's gonna be bad for him I was very lucky in my selection of, of strength cards I've, I've gotten Khan Tyrantus Earth Dragon King's Lay very strong cards while I was still competitive in the early game, I, I didn't lose a lot of health in the beginning of the match, so it was a very, very good random random draw. And look, it's Dawn! Nice. Cygnus. Whenever Cygnus dies, we have two vile vials in our hand. You can use it, it's a little spell. You take 3 damage and you draw a card. Yeah, I don't think he has the removal that he really needed here. That's good. He brought some meat, but everybody will lose their guard and effects here. There we go. Right, so now I have options here. I can cost, this costs 3 plus 3, 6. I can put Quadra 
I can put Olympia and I can cast Gift of Kai to give everybody health and banner. Good, so you see now I have four attack, which is quite decent. I'm gonna kill this dude because I don't want him lurking around. Next turn I will remove the roots and let's see what happens. Yeah, the art style is absolutely amazing. Like I said, people from we have people from Brazil, from the United States, from China, from I believe Ukraine or Russia producing the artwork. And Daniel, which is our art director, has done has done a great job in establishing uh, like a cohesive line of illustrations for the game. It's really cool. We're working with a ton of artists. So let's see, now we're entering the late game. Good. So he roundhouses round me. He will get two attack. But no, he decided to give me two damage and then all my units are on flame, on fire. That's not very good for him because my quadra will die and quadra will deal 4 damage to everybody. Unless all this damage goes to Carbonite here, it's bad news for him. Oh yeah, I forgot. We had the, the, the chains effect, so good. It's even better than I thought. Good, good stuff. Should I play Tyrantus now? I'm gonna just play Kingslay, kill this Carbonite, remove the flames from my con, and lay this mech down here. So now I've gotten 7 life points back, which is amazing. This. And this unit will die next turn anyway, so let's blink. Yeah, I think he conceded. It was a dire situation on his side, definitely. So because I've played strength and I've gotten the level here, I've gotten two strength cards for my victory, which is awesome. Will each card be uh, ERC-721? No. Uh, from what I know, we are dealing with ERC-1155 tokens. But our economy model is still not 100% uh, completed, right? So um, bear with us a little. We're trying to, to go for a very benign model, or it's not, not going to be Beijing or crazy 10,000 Bitcoin booster packs, nothing of the sort. So if you want to take a look here, this is the deck creator. Here you have the filters for the prisms, uh, the cards that you own, the cards that are locked, or you can select them all. And here you can just create a new deck select the cards here when you click you have a better description about the details a description of the keywords if the card has um, any attached spell you have it here so you can check it out but basically the effort of creating a new deck here you choose like two, two different prisms or one and then you drag you click on the cards and you will have up to 30 random cards here an interesting thing that you can do is that you can have a partial constructed deck. So if you're if you played enough, you have like 40 cards of one prism, but you still don't have all the cards that you want. You have 30 good cards, but you are missing the last. Uh, you have 20 good cards, but you're missing the last 10. You can just put those 20 here and save, build it, and then the game will fill up the the, the other 10 for you, which is pretty nice. But I will not play any constructor today. I just wanted to show you guys how is it like. And it's a ton of cards with beautiful illustrations. 
and uh, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff here. Let's play another random one. How long does it take to build the whole collection? Um, we have a few people already with the few uh, with a full collection in our in our beta. It's it's a very decent grind. It's not super super slow or super grueling. If you play random and then construct it a few times per day soon, I think in a in a month or two maybe without paying anything, you can have very competitive decks in your hands. Let's play now a weird mixture. I'm gonna play heart and wisdom. Theoretically, those are the two support prisms, right? They are less aggressive, they have a lot of spells, effects, misdirection, removals. Um, they have a lot of draw with a little bit of luck. So, let's see if, I, if uh, what happens. But they don't deal damage super consistently, at least in my, in my experience. Let's see if anybody jumps in the random queue now we have some games going on i see let's wait for the next opponent here yeah absolutely um playing and practicing is not doesn't feel like a drag right it's very very uh a very friendly experience of learning how to play and etc playing constructed in the beginning is a bad idea i think because then you'll be playing against our most seasoned alpha testers and beta testers and they have all the cards and etc. They know the game inside out. So you will be at a very sizable disadvantage. Uh, but play the random matches. It doesn't matter if you're a level 1 or if you're a level 400. You're competitive if you're playing a random match. All right? There's no external advantage being brought into that particular match so nice it's Julio again yes core we, we had an animation going on before but it was a bit heavy so we decided to remove the animation now to make the game a bit lighter but yeah, definitely, uh, we need some indication that, yes, we're looking for an opponent and things are not frozen. Ooh, uh, it's a very traditional MMR calculation. Um, I don't have the, the data right here with me, but it's not nothing arcane. We didn't reinvent the wheel here. There's no point in doing that. Okay, so I'm going to choose my favorite scheme, which is three creatures, one spell. Prismata is amazing, but I need a light card, and I don't have any here, so I'm gonna put it back into the deck. Let's see if I can later pick it up. Okay. I love the illustration for Fire Noble. Very, very nice. And Sick Burn. As you can see, sometimes we love our puns here when we're naming cards. <laughs> like the Aminos who. <laughs> Which is an amazingly strong card. It was a 4-4 card with a 4 mana cost some time ago. I think I'm gonna spend my mana vial here. I'm gonna put some guards into the playing ground. Let's see what happens. Having your first arm, uh, unit down with armor is super, super strength. It's super, super strong because basically there's no point in attacking it directly with the hero because he won't deal any damage to the creature. So it's a nice stalling technique until you can get some of the heavy hitters. Let's see what Julio does here. Next round I'm probably gonna catch this one here. So he used cross reference. He got two extra spells, costing one mana. There are a lot of good cheap one mana spells here. Mm. 
good. Come on, Judo, smack my guard. Boo. Okay, so I'm gonna lay down the coral bedrock and I'm gonna get probably a zero or one mana cost, zero cost. No point in not placing this down now. Okay. Simple turn. We have a nice advantage here. We were lucky because we don't have a ton of guard cards in Heart and Wisdom. And we had a nice combination here. So he's so swoop. Who? Ah, yeah, of course. Shelly and then effects translate here because they are both water cards. Nice. Mm -hmm. What? Well, I'm gonna keep those units alive for as long as I can, and I'm gonna. Ladies, my fire noble down. Yeah, I think there's no point waiting. Then let's remove this noble here. There we go. Nice. So there's no point removing the frostbite, paying four mana to release a zero two creature right so let's just keep them here as fodder they can't be ignored because they have guard so he'll have to waste at least one attack on them that's pretty good and of io he will play foul stench smart killed my my elder wood and then i got the witch Hmm. I could cast Ivy and Wither. Ivy, Ivy and Snare, but no, I think I'd rather kill this guy before he grows stronger. And I get a nice card for my troubles, which is good. Blink, blink. And we now have seven cards. You can have up to nine cards in your hand. So I'm two cards away from a for my card limit in my hand. If you have nine, if you and you have to draw another card, the oldest one goes back and is shuffled back into your deck. Ooh, it's a bit time. So this fire noble is going down. Don't, they don't have any extra super amazing effects after they are played. So I will save this for when I have 7 mana, I don't want to waste Moonbeam. So okay, so let's play 5 here. Banner and Wither. So yeah, let's... We have to kill... This unit first, definitely. Nice. And again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. Nice. So I'm in a good spot now. I have a guard unit and a relatively strong, decent wither unit here. Wither, if you don't know yet, 
you deal attack damage as well as life damage whenever you attack a creature. It doesn't work on heroes. So if I attack a 10-10 creature with this lady here, she would die and then the creature would become a 7-7 creature. Which is a good way to deflate the stronger creatures around. Nice. Two royal mummies. No, there is no meal uh, type of strategy in Skyweaver. Because even if I don't have any cards, I can still draw cards from a, a generic pool of cards. Uh, you, you never lose the game for not being able to draw. Yeah, I realized that you were, that you were not super paying attention at the time there. A shame. Okay, what can I do here? I'll save this for later. Yeah, I think the best option here would be to cast Flock. I'll get three songbirds. So now my hero has a pretty decent attack. So I'm gonna kill her so he loses the banner effect. Then I'm gonna smack mommy. And I'm gonna smack a mummy. Yeah, that's that's a good round. So yeah, as I was saying, you cannot do like the in Magic the Gathering had the the, the vice cards and etc. that would eventually chew down the the number of cards uh, that you would have in your deck and you would eventually lose because you could you cannot draw anymore. This is impossible on Skyweaver, right? We, we want to keep you playing the game. However, if you have to draw a card, like in the beginning of your turn, and you don't have any cards <clears throat> left in your deck, uh, you're dealt one, one damage, right? There is at least a small punishment. Ooh, nice. That was a nice clear. So basically, with Clapback, <clears throat> he killed all my units. Damn. It was a nice nice play. Okay. So I think I will have to play the who and I'm gonna moonbeam the crap out of his Angelo. Bye bye Angelo. I don't wanna you around here. Yeah, discarding cards is, is a valid strategy, right? Even especially in the beginning of the game, uh, we have several effects that that makes the the opponent discard cards back to the deck. So you can scramble sometimes their their strategy because of that. I know that I've lost many a game because I was counting on one specific card, and then my hand was mulliganed or I had to discard something randomly. So yeah, that's that's definitely a strategy, but it's not as punishing as in other games like Magic the Gathering, for instance. And I think it's a nice design, right? Because we want to keep the game flowing. We want to keep people playing the game until we, we have a nice, satisfactory decision. That's at least my the way I see it. I know meal car meal strategies were very popular in Magic. Nice, so he was lucky. He drew his Zapeta and Zapeta brought another unit to his hand. That was good. Uh, I can't do that now because I won't finish him off. So I'm gonna do... I have 8 mana. Three, three, one. Yeah, that's decent. I'm gonna play Reefs. Let me get another card. I'm gonna play Orchid. I'm gonna make the units stronger and spells cheaper in my hand. 
good. Ah, yeah, because of the reduction, now this is free. So I'm gonna play the Leaf Ranger and I'm gonna give everybody plus one. Nice. Because I really don't want the stat playing tricks on us. I really don't. Yeah, that looks good. Whenever feed the, the glory effect here, so whenever Tat deals damage attacking the enemy hero, he grants everybody on his side spell shield each and every turn. So, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Glory effects are also very, very crucial in the game. Some units, they they can really break the game if they can land their glory effects. No problem, score. Ask away. Yeah, we, we have a bot. You can play against the bot. No, don't worry. If you go play, I'll show you when this match is over. I'll show where to do that. However, of course, when you play against the bot, you don't get experience points, right? But it's a good way to feel, to play the cards, to get a feel for the game, absolutely. That's it. It's, it's absolutely valid. Mm -hmm. So he has now a nice little couple units here. I think I'm gonna cast Hurricane here. Nice. Now I can smack him, get one more point of mana, some life points back. I'm gonna kill Tat without losing my guard unit. Oh, I did. I should have killed the guy with my hero. That was a bad play. Nice. So I can discard my teenage witch to get two extra cards. I'm gonna do that. Let's see if I'm lucky. Yeah, okay, not terrible. Not terrible. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna show, after this match is over, I'm gonna show where to play against the bot. I can even play a match against the bot. The bot's not amazingly smart now, uh, especially with spells, right? Because we have some very elaborate and complicated spells to make the best use of. But uh, he's ruthless with units, right? So can be a bit of a challenge just playing with mono, mono strength. Okay. Throne Blade and Firemander and Crystal. Lots of cheap cards here. Full Bloom, which was good. Everybody gets Life Steal and plus one plus one. That was a nice, nice play. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was very lucky because if he didn't do that, I'm able to use Funeral for sure here. I'm gonna kill this guy. Get some mana and some life back. And I'm summoning my dragon or mummies. Dragon or mummies. I'm gonna summon the mummies because they have guard. Yeah, so I have two guard units here. Which is always a good idea. Yep, that looks good. <laughs> yes, Funerio Moon. But again, it's the kind of card that you can screw yourself with, uh, with it, because it kills all units, right? Not just the enemies. So if I cast this now, I would lose both of my of my mummies along with his firemander because they are the only ones with two attack or less so not the best trade-off
So let's see. Julio has nine cards left in his deck, as you can see here on top. I have ten. I have eleven. He has eleven mana. You don't. I know you can't see, but I have ten mana left. Ten maximum mana. Sorry. So yeah. Bowler. Good guard unit, but remember. And again, if things get way out of hand, I can always use this one here and basically save my, my bacon. Yeah, I think there's no point in not doing this. Killed both units, got two life back. I can still smack away. I don't want him. Yeah, I'm gonna trade. I think it's the best option here. Yes, yeah, score. We're just we just opened the, the, the site for the public, right? So yeah, there we have a lot of stuff planned, talking about not just gameplay but technology, crypto um, technology in general. So definitely, we'll have also I believe our developers streaming, talking about technology, showing you the intricacies of what we're doing here. And you can always go to the to Discord. We have the Talk to the Devs channel in which you can ask your questions. We had some discussion in the last couple of days that they are quite interesting. You can see our smart contracts. They are public. They are right there if you want to check. And absolutely, yeah, talking is a priority for us. Okay. I think I have an option here, or do I? Trade this guy back. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's kill everybody. Let's play Sapphire. Good. Sorry, Julie must be very frustrated because I keep clearing everything. He's playing. I'm sorry, guy. <laughs> but you're in a good position, even though like you have less life points. You have more cards than I do, so I'm starting to to feel the need of extra draw here very quickly. You had more draw than I had, so. It's not entirely crappy. And now with 13 mana you can start making some wicked combos. You can accumulate a lot of mana. I, I don't remember that our hard cap now is 30 or 40 or something like that, but yeah, we, you, we can... Mana can go on a long way. And uh, with a lot of mana then you start creating some wicked combos. Nice. He's an anti-mago. Strong unit now because of the Wayne Blade. So I definitely can't ignore it. And whenever he attacks me, he will get flames. My hero will be in flames. Which I don't want to happen here. Good. At least I have some buffer. So let's start putting some pressure. Smack me face a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Um, this has changed relatively recently. Score. It's uncapped by virtue of being very high, but yeah, we should be more specific, absolutely. 
there are a number of small little uh, adjust adjustments in the blog that we'll have to, to make, so... Woo! Now that was bad for me. That was not good. Definitely not good. Not good at all. Mystic is a very strong card. But I can now I have Eagle Eyes. Let's see, let's see what I draw here. Yeah. Not great, right? Yeah, let's just cast this, show a little buffer. Let's see what happens. There you go. So Philippe, PAJBC is one of our amazing developers and he's confirming that yeah, there is no mana cap. So there you go. My bad. Yeah, I've played a match in which I ended the match with like 34 or 35 mana before everything went to hell. So. <sighs> Let's see what happens here. Now he's got three good cards in his hand. Oh, another little firemander, Blood Moon, Jesus, now Jill is on fire, he wants to kill me dead in my tracks. <laughs> I need something happening really fast here. <laughs> so he dusted his hand and now he was gonna draw cards, but Julio, take care, you can kill yourself <laughs> with this mystic. One more attack like that and you're gonna be dead. Because see, if you have no more cards to draw. Nice, now I can do something really, really wicked. I can cast this, I can cast. This definitely, there's no point. Uh, should I do this? Yeah, why not? Let's call this and let's cast Eagle Eyes. So I'm gonna lose one card, which was pretty crappy, and I'm gonna get a ton of cards. So suddenly I'm back in the game, and now I can really lay this smack down here. Alrighty, so I gotta pay attention to the timer here. Let's see if we go away. Well, no point in not using Seal of Doom. Bye bye, everybody. And then let's cast this guy. Yes. And I'm gonna get a little extra mana life back from it. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that I had a chance, Julio, because I remember that my that this Seal of Doom went back into my deck, so I was waiting for it. And uh, that Eagle Wise was absolutely perfect, because then I knew that whenever you hit me with your Mystic, you would have a full hand, and then I would have a full hand myself because of that. So, yeah, that, that was a nice combination of factors here. Oh, my poor side. See, he still has six more mana. Six mana can do a lot of stuff late game. Sky Aura to get some life points back. 
which is a good decision. Ooh, I can make a crazy creature here. What kind of air unit I can draw here? Ugh! Crappy, crappy. Okay, not so crappy. I can send this guy back, which is good. I can cost carbonite, banjo, and then I can buff my carbonite quite a lot good yeah you can still come back because there's nothing won here but it's an interesting scenario now we don't have cards so we are taking damage now whenever we draw so let's see what happens Nice. Excellent play. He stole my bolster with his eye spider. And he sent my guy to whatever, dusting him. Whenever you dust a unit, it doesn't go to the discard pile. It's completely removed from the game. Oh, look. Grank is back. Come on, Julio! No! <laughs> Ooh. That can basically save me. I can outlast him just by drawing. <laughs> okay, I think I have Leto here or not. Yeah, I'm gonna kill my guy to get Winged. I'm gonna send your guard unit to hell and back attack and attack wow that was sweet <laughs> hey Alexis welcome oh well, can always sneak in and play against me would be glad to play a match against you Welcome, Alexis. Yeah, Hoplates. Uh, we, we love our pubs in this game, definitely. The cards. We have a ton of amazing puns here. Let's see. We have Hoplate. We have... Uh, which, there was one that our community hated. Ponderous. Starfield, the Light Knight, very good alliteration here, the Zapper with Banjo, <laughs> I love it. So see, if you want to play against the bot, it's okay, you just start, choose, like I want to play a strength match, and then you can you select here, practice, you play versus AI. Here you're playing with against people, and here you can challenge somebody, right? You can create a private match and play with a friend. Those two do not grant you experience points. This one though, though does. Look, I got one extra level in my our leather board. Let's see here the ranks. Nice. So Coulter and, and Zygon, they are the game designers, right? So rightfully so. They are the first and second in the match. 
Nice, Alexis. Yes, Olympia card made just for you and your babe. It's a good card. Save with me more than once. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See ya. So here is our uh, JRH0203. He has played a ton of matches also. Entered in the in the beta. And he was the first for the longest time. And see he still has this amazing win rate. Better than, than Coulter and John. Then Wirfs, another Ammer, and here's me. Nice. I'm glad. See, I don't have that many games, but I'm slow and steady. And I pick my fights. I'm smart about it. Nice. So let's see. We're, we're playing for one hour and a half. So I'm gonna play one last match. Then I'm gonna check live here our Discord to onboard people. And uh, that's it. That's it for our Friday night's melee. I'm gonna play something different now. I played Heart and Agility, I played Heart and Wisdom, I've played Strength. I'm gonna play Strength and Heart, which can be a wicked combo also. Let's see who we can play against now. Come on, Philippe. Join the queue. I need to beat you. You were my nemesis during during the alpha and the beta. Nice. It's so damn hot here. It's over midnight and it's like 32 degrees. It's insane. Like 90 something Fahrenheit. Nice, Gunter, one of our new additions to the beta test. He just started yesterday. <laughs> no, they are, they are amazingly good people. I choose my, my crazy hours myself. It's a, it's a self-imposed crush. It's, it's nothing to do with them. And here, come on, they are in Toronto, I'm in Spain, right? So. This is this is my share of sacrifice that I have to put to make the game a success. It's it's fine. Okay, so we have a nice combination of cards here. I'm gonna pick my classic combo of three units, one spell. Which spell? I'm gonna pick Mad Vibes because it's a wicked, wicked spell. And I start. So I could have three mana points because of my mana value, and now I have just one. Hmm. I will play my Coral Bedrock, which will draw me a one. Good. And Golemur. It's a nice chunky creature for defense. Good stuff. Good first round. <laughs> yeah, I hear that I don't sleep enough quite a bit. Do I have dark eyes? Uh, I might. Oh, nice first round by Gunter. Also, three good creatures down. Mm hmm. Yeah, interesting. I can... I think I'm gonna cast the Frost Sigil here. It's gonna freeze this one up and basically delete the attack of the other creatures. Or maybe not, because this guy here gives the hero lifesteal and banner, which are two very important attributes. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna kill this guy first. It's a bigger priority. So, okay, so you're down. And I'm gonna blink Gunter. And that's it.
yes, like as Philippe said, you have your hero here and he is like the dividing point between guard units always go to the right, stealth units always go to the left. And random creatures without uh, either guard or stealth they usually go to the to the left side also. So it's it's a nice representation that you always know that you have to be very careful with the right side. Okay, so. This spell has banner, which means that this round my hero will have another attack point, and then I'll buff another creature. The spell shield and plus one, plus one. Well, if I have to do that, I'll definitely do that with this guy here. Because he has Wither. Wither is a very, very important ability. I'm gonna smack him and I'm gonna remove the ability of this guy to life steal me because of the wither now he has zero attack he won't be stealing anyone's life points yes exactly if he if they change between stealthy and now become guardy they will move to the right and the same thing if they become stealthy they go left I hate Geode so much. His ability is so strong. But again, it's for everybody, right? Spells, all spells, cost one more. Including his. But it's a chunky creature with armor, so I have to deal 5 damage to bring this guy down. Bye, Julio. Thanks for the matches, man. It was awesome. Here, I could play this guy now, but I don't have any dead creatures in my discard pile, so I would lose his ability. So... Hmm, what do I do? I think I'm... let's see. I'm gonna do something kind of crazy here. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, but I can't do that. I don't have the mana. Crikey. That was not good. Okay, so I'm gonna kill the zomboid before it inflates. I'm gonna some damage and let's see. That was it was dumb. I thought I had one more mana. Yes, if like this one usually has a 99 on top, now it is a hundred. This costs. See, that's why I, I miscast it because I'm used to this costing three, and because of Geod, now it costs four. That's why I lost my my math here. Hmm, that was not good. Yeah, bad, bad, bad round for me, definitely. Okay, so now I have no excuse. I'm gonna cast this guy and I'm gonna bring my Coral Bedrock back. And Coral Bedrock will bring me another one or zero cost a card to my hand, which is okay. Good. So not, not too shabby. Thanks, Kiaru. I'm, I'm very happy. I can see that you're, you have played quite a few games today. Awesome. See you in Sky. Thanks for following up. And again, remember, if you're watching and you still don't have the beta access, send me a message on Discord. Marcelo, look for me. And skyweaver.net. And I'll be able to help you. I would be glad to help you. Okay, so Geod is going down this turn because I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. 
I'm gonna bring Rustation, which is another crafty pun here. And I'm gonna rust away his armor and his life points. Good. I'm gonna take one damage, but I'm gonna keep this guy alive and he will attack the hero, so I will be 31 life points. Because he has life steal. Good stuff. And why not? Let's play the Coral Bedrock again. So let's see what I get. Ooh. Martyr of Light is a good, good spell. A good, good unit. Nice. Good turn. Good, good turn. So I have two creatures with, with armor. He can kill one of them with that eye if he really wants to. Let's see what he does. And I have Khan waiting for me here. Khan already won me a match today. Let's see if I can make it happen again. Khan is amazingly powerful. It's costly, but it's a strong unit by lifesteal, armor, and if he manages to stay alive one turn, nice. He played a water line and killed my my poor coral bedrock and my light knight. That was good. Okay. Seven points now. He has three mana he three cards left, so I have more cards, so we go eyes won't do me any good. I can uh, I'm gonna play Martyr. I'm gonna make this guy or this guy stronger. This guy stronger. And whenever I cast a light effect, spell or unit, Martyr of Light brings me three health back to the hero. Awesome. So Restation. And I think I'm good for this turn. I'm, I'm not playing this now because I want I, I'm waiting to see if he plays. A stealthy unit, because if he plays a stealth unit, uh, Talanos gets stronger and becomes a guard unit, which is more valuable, in my opinion, right now at least, than a stealthy unit. Gift of Aya, so he got one maximum mana and got a Earth card and a four. I think he had four or five cards, so a little bit of life back. Ooh. I have some interesting creatures here. I don't want to keep this guy alive for sure, because he can really mess me up if he manages to get glory. Hmm. I can attack him safely, but then I won't be able to finish him because I have just one point of damage left here. Uh, well, why not? Let's play Khan. I will get some Uninspire Light here, three more life points and a good unit down. Okay, that's good enough. Cool, cool, cool. I really like the illustration of Martyr of Light, very, very smart, cool effect. And he's spelled Trinity Link above his head, I really like it. And I think it's Khan, right, that's being shackled here. <laughs> and it's a very versatile spell, right? You, you can make like a one or two hit point creature become three on your side, which is good, or I could use on this boar, for instance, to become to make him force him into being a 5 3. Good, everybody, everybody shackled by my chains. Love it. This boar is bad news when he attacks because he gives everybody roots. So I need to 
bring this guy, guy down fast. Okay, so I'm gonna mad vibe him. He's gonna attack himself. And I'm gonna sacrifice my Martyr of Light here. I think it's, it's the right choice. I'm gonna blink this gladiator so he's out of here. And I'm gonna cast Psyche to have a guard so at least he won't face me with his Talonus here. And a good chunk of life back, 38 life points because of my lifesteal. Good. Yeah, I think I can have lethal next turn if everything goes well. Let's see what he can... He can play now. Ooh, Dragon Flames, nice. If he's smart, he's gonna kill my... Oh no, he should have killed my... My Khan with Talonus. That was not good. No, Gunter. You could have done it, man. I'm just gonna play Trider just for laughs because I love it. And it summons snacks. Awesome. Wow, I didn't lose any match today. That was unheard of. Nice, so two strength cards. Frank is absolutely ridiculously strong in my opinion. It was much it was worse before, now you have to dust cards to generate energy to his ability, but before it was just every turn getting stronger and stronger. It's ridiculous. Alrighty. That was a nice, nice experience here playing the game. I'm gonna check our Discord here. Wow! I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people <laughs> sending me messages. So I have here zero one Alex Con Art Togan L Constellation Bernie Kuma Kuma and home asking me for invites if you're not on this list tell me now hey Zendrin man you just arrived and I'm I'm out of here in a few minutes sorry shame but watch the video later um, okay anybody in the stream that's not on this list here of people that are requesting invites Just to be joker at best, that's an amazing nickname, man. Thanks a lot, thanks, enjoyed. There's still a lot to be improved, but the game is beautiful now. It was an amazing experience to see it from the bare bones. Uh, the first few versions, it was very, very clunky, and now it's this beautiful game with beautiful music an amazing game design behind it, which I, I think it's our game's biggest strength. So I'm gonna read the list again, okay? So we have Zero One, Alex Cunard, Togen, L Constellation, Bernie, Kuma Kuma, and Home. So Zandran, if you're not in this amazing list, hop into skyweaver.net there's the discord now I'm gonna grab our discord here later yeah I have a message from you also Philippe do you want an, a beta code? I can give you a beta code if you want I can pretend you're not our blockchain wizard and I'll give you a beta code. <laughs> so Zandran and Scorwin, send me a message, okay? Skyweaver.net, you have the Discord button over there. I'm Marcelo. Shoot me a message, or if you can't find me for some arcane reason, just message everybody on general. I'll be looking around there. And that's it, folks. 
thanks a lot for this amazing stream. I think it went, it went well. Uh, sorry for the crappy audio. I will fix this. I have a decent mic microphone, I swear. I won't be using this crappy one here. And I will see you Monday at the same at the same bedtime. I hope everybody that was watching the stream here can play with me on Monday. You have the weekend to practice. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. And see you soon. Bye.